Joining me now with more, former Colorado State Senator and Chairman of the Committee to Defeat the President, Ted Harvey. Thanks so much for being with us today. It's great to have you. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So what do you make of this bill passing the House? I thought Republicans were in control here. Yeah, that's what I thought also. I think it's pretty disappointing that uh, the Speaker would literally uh, give away the, the everything that we have worked so hard to get, which is the majority back. And um, he had the, the administration up against a wall. He could have forced them to negotiate more, forced them to give more. And I don't see how any conservative can sign off on this package because, like you said, it's going to increase spending through the roof over the next two years, and there's no controls whatsoever. So um, it was a gift to the administration. It was a gift to the Democrats. And why did we work so hard to elect conservatives? Yeah, it is uh, truly very disappointing, and uh, I, I guess I can't say I'm surprised, but here we are. So now some of uh, the America First conservatives are considering using the motion to vacate, which is a rule that allows any House member to force a vote to remove the Speaker. Uh, do you think this is a good chance of actually happening, and how do you see this playing out? No, I don't think so. I don't think this is um, grounds to um, call for a new speaker. They're not going to go back and renegotiate this deal. They've already got it passed. And so why put the caucus through that process? Um, but I think this definitely sends a message that the American people and, and conservatives across this country need to make sure in the primaries moving forward that we get solid conservatives elected in the primaries and moving forward in the generals. Otherwise, we're going to continue to have the uh, both parties working together to sell the American people, you know, a, a bill of goods and uh, bankrupt this country more than it already is. Absolutely. I wish we would have thought this one through before we uh, got to this point, but it'll be interesting to see how it pans out, I suppose. Um, in other yeah. news, the House Oversight Committee has subpoenaed a document from the FBI, which could be the smoking gun, so to speak, proving then-Vice President Biden engaged in alleged criminal bribery scheme with a foreign national. And let's remember, Trump was impeached over a phone call. But Biden seems to be untouchable. What do you think about this? Well, what outrages me more than anything is that the FBI has had this document for a long time. They knew about the Hunter Biden laptop, that it was real um, back in 2019, going into the 2020 elections, and they kept it from the American people. They had this document probably back then as well. And they participated with the Hillary Clinton um, campaign and, and moving forward into the 2020 election to undermine the Trump administration and essentially to implement a coup against the duly elected president of the United States with our intelligence community. And I think everybody in America should be outraged, but I don't think anybody will held, be held accountable until we take back the White House and we hold the House and the Senate. And that's what my PAC is working so hard to do is to make sure that Joe Biden is a one-term president. Yeah, that would certainly be ideal, and it is indeed outrageous. The protection of certain officials and the attack on those truly fighting to save America is just so obvious. And recently, former FBI Director Comey claimed that Trump is basically a threat to the rule of law. Who do you think is really the real threat here? Well, we know for a fact that Comey worked behind the scenes to make sure that a special counsel was imp imp implemented, um, being Mueller, and um, the Mueller investigation would move forward when everybody knew, including Bremer, who, who uh, went to Obama and told him exactly what was going on, that this was a Hillary Clinton campaign issue, the, the Russia collusion scandal. Um, everybody knew from day one, including uh, Comey, that it was all a scam and they moved forward with it for two years to tie up the administration, making sure that Trump's, you know, ability to be more successful than he already was, was hampered. And uh, like, again, it was the intelligence community, the FBI, the CIA, the NSA, doing everything they could to undermine the administration, the Trump administration, um, and essentially implement a coup going into the 2020 election. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. 
Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.